everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We're going to take a look at a vest system today. This is the Gen X Global Lightweight Paintball Vest. Um, if you were to order this vest, you're going to get a lot of parts with it. Uh, including the vest, it's 12 different pieces that you will get with it. Um, now, all of the pieces are designed to fit onto a modular or Molly system setup. Um, so if you do have uh, Molly system uh, accessories already, you could put them onto this vest. Um, or do it the other way around. If you have a vest, you can put um, these Molly pieces onto your other vest. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, so all of them are designed to be uh, woven in. So make sure you're doing a proper Molly weave. If you don't know how, check out some of the other videos we've done on how to properly weave your Molly accessories. Um, we'll go through each of these accessories briefly in a minute, uh, but we'll look at the vest first. So on the front side, you can see that we do have some Velcro towards the top. So you can put patches or um, team names or whatever you want on there. And then the whole front is covered in, in the Molly Weave system so that we can put all our accessories on there. The top does have the non-slip shoulder surfaces to it with the reinforced section um, to protect your shoulder when you're shooting. Snaps on the front to help keep everything closed and a zippered front to open it up. Now on the inside here, you've got two different zippers. These are gonna just expose zippered pouches where you can put your hands inside here. I'll put my hand inside there. And you can see that you could just put whatever you want on the inside there. You can also slide it, whatever you want on the inside there. Maybe you have um, like a camelback bladder or whatever you wanna put, some sort of hydration pack set up. You can put that in there as well. The sides are adjustable. So if you look on the side, you've got four adjustment straps to adjust how wide or how tight the sides are. You get that on both sides. On the back side here, you've got more Molly weaving plus more Velcro. So you can put uh, more patches on the back of it. Um, a big carry handle or a drag handle if you were needing to drag someone across the ground. And then the tops here, you do have the Velcro where you can set up um, like um, sling setups can attach to the top there. And then the tops are adjustable as well. So each shoulder is adjustable as far as how tight or how, how, uh, how much length you want in the shoulder sections. So how far down you want the pack to sit on your body. So you have that on both shoulders as well. So let's zip this back up. And then we'll start talking about the accessories. So you're gonna get 12 pieces. So one vest and 11 accessories. And we'll kind of go through them. Um, and they're all gonna be a Molly Weave setup. So we're really not gonna look at the back of them. We're just really gonna kind of look at the fronts. So this one folds open. And inside here, you can see that there's slots for 12 gram CO2s or shotgun shells, whatever you wanna uh, slide down inside here. Or if you're not going to use it for that, you could lay something down inside here and just cover it up. You're going to get two, two plus three paintball pack uh, holders or paintball pod holders. So I open these up. We're going to throw some pods in here like that, fold it over. I haven't tried the lock lid, so we'll see how well that fits inside there. Lock lid fits just fine. And then you've got three additional elastics that you can fit another pod in as well. Plus the little tab to go around your pod there to lock it in place and help keep the lid from accidentally opening up. Plus you've got more weaving here. You could put accessories to the outside of these. And as the other ones, they are a weave setup for the back. So you're going to get two of these. So this pack can hold one, two, three, four, five, plus another five. So you could put 10 pods on this pack if you wanted to. Or maybe you just want to run one of these and just have five pods or I know, you know, wherever you want to do. That's the great thing about a Molly system setup or a modular setup. You can set it up any way you want. So you're going to get two of those in there. You're going to get one pistol holder. Right there. Now this to me looks like it's more of a, actually you can reverse it. 
It can go on either side, so it's either right or left-handed, doesn't matter. You could put it on this way. Um, well, actually, I take that back. It is buttoned on one side, it's not buttoned on both. So I would consider this more of a right-handed draw setup. So you put it on that side and draw across with your right hand. Um, flipping it over, you would, wouldn't have a way to attach it, so you couldn't really use it as a left-handed draw. This one here is for our tank. So we could fit um, a bottle inside here and attach it onto the pack like that. You've got Velcro to secure it. This is gonna poof out. Now I've got a 68 sitting over here, so let's see if we can fit that in there. It might, it might not fit in there. Let's just take a look. Haven't really tried. This is a 68 SL bottle, so they are pretty thin. Yeah, looks like it's gonna go in there. So the 68 bottle does fit inside there. Secure it down with the Velcro straps. And that's gonna fit nice and snug. Then you can pull that up over the top there keeping everything in place. So we'll fit the 68. Molly's onto the back. Got another one here, which has a snap enclosure. And this is just a big open pouch right there. These are to help keep rain and dirt out, fold it over. But there's no little compartments in this one. It's just nice and open. It does have Velcro on the front, so you can attach whatever you want to the front. Um, if you kept your your closure up a little bit higher, you can put things on there. You're going to get a mag holder. This is going to hold two mags. Put those inside there like that. Single mag, so a double and a single. This pouch, open it up. You can see that it does have vertical and horizontal strapping inside there, so you can put whatever would fit into there, strap things on the front, slide things behind these straps, put them on there, close it up. It even has some uh, elastic to hold everything there. I might have said that was Velcro. It's not. It's elastic. It's all elastic inside here. And then two more. This one, I guess you could put another pod in there. I haven't really tried to see what will fit. Yeah. Pods really don't work. Um, it almost looks like it would fit like an M4 style magazine inside here, but since it is geared towards paintball, um, maybe a grenade inside here, radio inside here, um, smoke bombs or smoke grenades inside there. Um, really just whatever you can fit inside of it. And then the last is another pouch. This is almost like a little medic pouch or utility pouch got the weaving at the front so you could put accessories on the front of it and then the strapping on the back to attach to the vest. So you're gonna get a lot of pieces with this. There's a ton of options on how you wanna set up your own vest. Um, with all these pieces here, you could have hundreds of different combinations on how you wanna set everything up. But uh, there's a little something for everybody in this. So check it out. This is the Genix Global Lightweight Tactical Vest for Paintball. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.